somebody's here. Is that you, Elena? Oh no. Huh? <laughs> Is that you, bud? Oh, you want me to go? No, it's not me. Oh. Hey. <laughs> All right, let me go tell everybody I'm live and give them the little link link, or they're not gonna know. Nah. <laughs> as you can see we got our buff boy on the screen back here it's a little dark so i'm gonna try and lighten it up in a second you guys can hear me all good hey yo oh my gosh what team are you guys on comment your team name or if you're independent just comment like you're not on a team you're a renegade you're a rogue all right i'm dropping this in the discord so all our buddies know that i'm live you guys have the base already pulled up? This guy, you should have this guy already pulled up. All right. At everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lynn, I'm good. Sorry, that was my sister. Oh, you're good. <laughs> All right, thanks, Lynn. All right, the link is sent. All right. All right, sorry for the thumbnail. It says how to hand. That's just an old thumbnail. All right, let's get started. So do you guys have the base pulled up? Oh, you don't have the base. Okay, so this is the base. I'm going to turn off my lamp light. I'm going to look really creepy for a second because it's going to look like super dark in here. Oh, there you go. That's the perfect angle. Okay, so this dude over here, this is our base that we're working with tonight. And you should have it in the Discord. So scroll up through the Discord and you'll see, like, it'll say, this is the base for the lesson. Are you doing okay? Yes, I'm okay. But I'm going to tell you, like, I was stressed for tonight. I was like, oh my God, this is my first YouTube live. I didn't even know if this was going to work. And I was like, oh, snap. But it worked just fine. I hope you guys can see it really well. It's kind of dim, which it sucks, but that's all right. Blue team. I see some orange team. <laughs> can you upload the lives? Yes, I can't. That's exactly why I wanted to do YouTube lives because I was not liking how TikTok, I tried to screen record it and it made my screen visible. So I like this better. So we're going to do YouTube lives for now. Uh, oh, you guys are showing up in droves. Oh my gosh. Hi guys. I see some purple team, blue team. So it's good that you guys are here in the middle of today. We're going to play a little game like in the middle of tonight so we can have like shake it up a little bit. Like, uh, do you know your teacher game? And if you, the team with the most points at the end of the game is going to win two points for their team. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. What team are you on? So if you don't know what your team is here. So your team is basically, let's get to it. So this is probably a really good way to introduce kind of the classroom because some of you guys couldn't make it to music night, which is sad. So and you, oh, you guys get to see my procreate. It's a mess. Okay. So in your Google classroom, you'll see something like this. Here, let me flip the canvas. Real quick. Canvas. All right. I'm flipping it. I'm going to read it backwards for you guys. That's how much... How much I love you guys. All right. <laughs> so you guys are going to see like on the top of your screen, you're going to see like green team, like in your Google Classroom banner. You're going to see either green team or something like that. And that is going to let you know what team you're on. If you're not in the Google Classroom, then your team color is unofficially white. And I like to say the white, um, if you guys are on the not a team, you guys are the independents. The renegades, you guys are my team basically. So, the points you win go to me. That's right. All right, <laughs> so let's jump into it. All right, so I'm assuming if you're here, you're either from my Discord or my TikTok, and you already have this base up. <laughs> Red Gone coming in clutch. All right, let me get the base up real quick. So, guys, my Procreate is an entire mess. If you ever have Procreate, you already know. So, today we're going to be trying to draw this random buff guy on the internet that I found. So, you know. Random king. Let's just, I'm going to pull this up closer because I don't know if you guys can see very well. All right. You guys don't need to see me. I'm just, I'm going to be in the background. Just drawing. Hold on. I might need to turn off this light because it's like all up in the screen. Yes. Okay. I'm going to look really creepy and like all the shadows going to be on me. But you guys should be paying attention to this. Don't look at me. Just like, look at this. All right. All right. <laughs> if you don't have Procreate, you don't need it. You can basically use Ibis Paint. There's some really good free software out there, or you can use traditional art. So if you are using traditional art tonight, here is what I advise for you. I advise get a light color pencil out, preferably like a peach color, because we use a lot of layers here. Like I like to have like a sketch layer and then we build on top of that. So I wish I had those abs. Me too, sis. Quarantine 15 got me good, boys. I'm not even wearing pants right now. That's how quarantine I'm in. I'm wearing pajama bottoms. 
that's like how much I am in quarantine mode right now. So you, I feel you guys. All right, let it, let's jump into it. <laughs> the battery on my Apple Pencil Pro. I feel you. All right. So I think the best way to jump into learning how to draw muscles is like some basic proportion stuff that I think will help you guys out the most. So let's pull that up. All the lessons, I'm going to have like a really good condensed version tomorrow or on Sunday, which is going to do a really good job of explaining this stuff. But I like to be able to sit in front of you guys and just kind of like go through my process. Sorry, these are some of the muscle lessons that I already have pre-made. So as you can imagine, I'm finding the right one for you guys. Um, where are the proportions? <laughs> yeah, you guys can see the my little sad. So this is Mr. Muscle, basically. He's going to help us today kind of get a better ooh, my light. Uh, Mr. Muscle is going to get help us get a better understanding of how to draw muscles. So we're going to darken up the screen a little bit just so you. Oh, he looks creepy. Oh, gosh. OK, I'm going to turn it into a gray. Um, you still can't see him that well. Let's try green. Still not that good, though. I don't know. OK. Maybe if I. Well, this might be the best we're going to get. I'll just zoom up on it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So if you guys are used to drawing your muscles, kind of like guessing, we are done with the guessing today. We're done with the snowmen. We're going to go through some anatomy, and then we're going to draw ourselves. We're going to try it ourselves. So let's start with some basic anatomy. I'm not going to go too crazy about it until, like, it's time for that. But we're going to start with some basic proportions right now, because I think proportions are pretty much standard like if you know your proportions you can kind of fake it till you make it and then we can go into a little bit more anatomy from there so let's pull up the proportion sheet right there sorry these are the like the underlying ribs and stuff i'm gonna turn that off for now okay let's jump into it all right so remember if you're one of my patreon supporters you get all of this good stuff all these drawings that i made here you're gonna have these all uploaded with all the notes and all the good stuff so you probably already have the space Okay, so you see what I'm drawing with this green line here? This is the forearm. This is the forearm, and this is the other forearm. And this is the rib cage. You can kind of see the rib cage when you're looking at a person because you can see, like, there's, like, this kind of, I don't know, curve, curve thing going on. And then it goes straight, and then you're going to see, like, these kind of that muscle group right there, and then it's going to go into your pelvic bone area. So what I like to do is I imagine the forearm kind of lines up with that midline of the um the rib cage and so i actually drew a rib cage so you guys can see what that would look like so let's say this blue guy is your rib cage right here can you guys see this too uh, well i don't know <laughs> orange team oh yellow team is repping all right i'm gonna change the color of this because i don't know if you guys can see that well let's change it to like a black yes that is so much better yeah we're gonna change all our line art to black today because y'all uh, my screen is trying to be annoying all right this is the rib cage and this is the humerus or that forearm right there. We're worried about bones a little bit later today. Actually, I think we're just going to do muscles today. I don't. You guys don't need to know about all that bone life right now because it's a little much. All right, so that is the um, the forearm. We'll stop at the humerus and um, or the upper arm. Sorry, the forearm down here, which is the bottom, will stop mid thigh. So a lot of things that I see people do is they will have their hands like really low. But your hands should always be reaching that kind of like mid-thigh area. So if your hands are reaching mid-thigh area, you are good to go. Oh, don't worry, baby, for me, sweetie. We got this. We got this. We just started. We're going to have a really good time tonight. Because we're in the middle of this. We're going to play a game after we get some drawings done. You guys can win some points for your team. It's two whole points, guys. The Instagram thing was one point. I don't remember who won. I'm going to count it up tonight. And I'm going to total up all the points. Because I'm so lazy, guys. I haven't even done that. But something really good to know is your hand should be about as big as the face. You guys see that? I just circled the hand, and that's kind of the size of the hand, and it's as big as your face. Look how natural that looks. I've seen some itty-witty beanie hands and some humongous hands, so you guys always keep it about the same size as the face. So today, we're going to work on a little bit of muscles. We're going to learn the names, and then we're going to draw some buff dudes, all right? It's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm not going to bore you guys with, like, long, like, talks about it. I'm just going to get straight into it. If you guys need a screenshot, go ahead and screenshot. If you're a Patreon supporter, all these um, pictures are going to be in your Patreon, so you can just look them up and study with them. Let's see. I illustrated all these myself, guys. I was over winter break, like, like literally losing my mind. I was like muscles, so many muscles, and I was like studying. I was studying nonstop because I thought I knew how to draw muscles until I had to like actually sit down and just like illustrate each one of them out. I was like, oh my god, I'm ascending right now. 
all right this is probably the link <laughs> so i guess i go through my patreon like a crazy uh, my page my procreate like a crazy person all right so here are the muscle groups we're going to talk about today i am not going to go over lower arm muscles just because I think it will be too confusing for a live lesson. There's just so many lower arm muscles and they're so intricate and small. So there you go. These are the muscles we're going to talk about today. I'm going to flip the canvas so you guys can see. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, canvas, do your thing. Yay, it flipped. Okay, so now you guys can read that. All right, awesome. All right, the first muscle we're going to talk about is the deltoid. This bad boy right here. Yeah. So everybody knows what the deltoid looks like. I'm sure if like, well, not everybody, but you know, like it's pretty like a very obvious looking muscle. So basically it's kind of this like, here, I'm gonna use a different color. Like that was the worst color on the world. All right, so it's basically this guy right here. And on the um, side view, you can really see it. It stops from the collarbone in the front to the scapula in the back. That's where it um, kind of inserts on. So you're gonna see it all the way around. And it's gonna kind of like, insert on its shoulder girdle right there. So that's basically the deltoid. But what's really important, oh, you can't read it, it's backwards, no, it's not. I can read it right there, bicep, eh, bicep rock, <laughs> yeah, right there. All right, so the deltoid is, what's cool about the deltoid and what everybody should know is it stops halfway down the humerus. So the humerus is the bone right here. This is the humerus. It's the forearm bone you have here. I probably should have, let me pull in a picture of the bones for you guys. Insert a photo. Guys, I have so many drawings in my camera roll. Like, my camera storage is so mad at me right now because I just have so many photos in my hands and things like that. Let's see. Well, let's find some bones. There it is. Perfect. Okay. So, I drew this illustration as well, guys. I'm like a little scientist. I felt like I was like, man, I'm ascending. Because there's one thing to, like, know the muscles and stuff, and it's another thing to draw them, bro. I was, I was like, what am I doing? I had to, like, talk to four anatomy tutors. Like, I swear to God. That was my entire winter break. I was just talking to tutors. I was like, um, <laughs> sexy potato. Hey, you're not supposed to be looking at my camera roll, all right? It's cringy. Wait, I flipped the canvas. You guys still can't read it? You, can you read this? Okay. Wait, hold on. Just checking. So, can you guys read that? It's backwards? Oh, it's backwards. Okay, so you guys, it might be, what I'm thinking is it might be flipping on your end too. So that might be better. Okay, can you read that? Can you read this now? Okay, what if I do this? Can you read this now? Oh yeah, all right, cool, cool, cool. That's what I thought. Somebody said they couldn't read it. All right, so we're gonna finish this up and then we're gonna jump straight into drawing. I think if you know what you're looking at, then it's gonna make a whole lot more sense. You're not gonna get overwhelmed or anything. Oh, snap, there's a lot of yeses. Oh, there's some no's. Oh my gosh, I'm confused. I could read it before. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking is going on. So your guys' phones or your cameras might be flipping it on your side. Like I flipped, I can't read this right now. It's flipped for me, but it's like, Going on my um my phone that it's like presenting it flipped for us now hmm interesting okay so basically if you guys want these pictures and you want to read them for yourself I'm going to I'm gonna make a YouTube video and explaining all of this you guys can look on it there oh, I'm sorry that it didn't flip for you guys that's crazy because it's flipped like it's flipped that's crazy so maybe I'll just like mm, I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> you can't read it. We can read it. I can't. Um, okay, hold on. Yeah, no, it's flipped on my procreate, and so it mirrors back on the camera. I don't know. That's weird. All right, guys. Sorry about that. YouTube confusion. I think the YouTube will flip it on some people's phones and stuff. All right, sorry about that, guys. Just, like, see if you can flip it yourself or maybe look at it in a mirror. I guess I'm sorry about that. All right, so let's, what did we talk about? The deltoid. Okay, yeah. The deltoid. It's not that hard. You literally you'll see it every time. So let's jump into some of the not so obvious muscles. Oh, I forgot to say the deltoid. This is super important. If you don't remember anything, remember this. The deltoid stops halfway down the humerus bone. And I was pulling up the bones. This right here is the humerus. This bad boy is the humerus. And it runs that length of the forearm. So you'll see your humerus right here. And it's like attached to this thing called the scapula in the back. So this is your rib cage. This is your scapula in the back, and then your humerus is attached to it. You guys don't really need to know what like the humerus looks like. I swear, like I, 
if the only bones you need to know are these ones down here because sometimes you can see them through the skin but i don't want to worry about bones tonight because we'll go into the whole thing so it's going to stop halfway down the humerus and if the humerus is the length of the forearm then that means it's going to stop halfway down the length of the forearm and this leads into our second muscle which is going to be pretty cool which is called the brachialis so it's right here if you guys i'm sorry if you can't read it it's spelled br a c h i a l i s the brachialis and it's basically this little muscle that sits underneath the um bicep it literally sits underneath the bicep and you almost will not see it in any individual it's only seen in like super buff individuals so if you draw like really skinny arms you're not even going to need to worry about it but it's right under there and it starts where the deltoid kind of stops it starts at that lower half of the humerus but you're not going to need to worry about it too much it inserts on the ulna bones but you're not even going to need to worry about it too much but you'll see it on the back of some people's arms you won't see it here too much but you'll definitely see it sometimes on the back of people's arms from like flex oh you guys saw that big guns you know that's right i worked out chronic days works out she's real buff <laughs> all right so let's talk about the bicep the bicep is the best like everybody's favorite muscles yeah sorry guys i flipped it and some people could read it and some people couldn't read it it really just depends like I don't know. Some people could read it. Some people couldn't. I think YouTube is flipping it for some people's devices. All right. So the bicep, that's, uh, we're only going to talk about three more muscles. So I know it's going to you. I'm sorry. We're going to get right into the drawing real soon. I just feel like we have to talk about the muscles before we start drawing them. All right. So the uh, bicep right here, it sits underneath. It sits underneath the deltoid and underneath the pectoralis major. If you didn't know, pectoralis major is the muscles that kind of sit for men. On top of the pectoralis major for women, you have like the fat and stuff, which makes up, you know, the chest. But um, yeah, so the deltoid actually sits underneath that. So it's going to create some interesting issues that we're going to talk about later because there's a whole lot of stuff that goes on with that. But you got to know that it pretty much runs the length of the um, upper arm and it will insert on the radius, I believe, the radius bone, which is, let me see, boop, 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 boop. radius bone, which is, that's the, uh, this is the radius. So you see that bicep is inserting on that radius. Inserting is a fancy way that anatomy people say stop. I don't know why they just start and stop, but anatomy people, they'd be crazy. Okay, and so you can see that it attaches to the scapula. Don't even worry about that. You don't need to know that. But what you do need to know is that the bicep isn't like this super large thing. Like I see a lot of people, especially when they start drawing muscles, they'll start out like this. I'm like, mm -hmm, okay, I got the deltoid. But then they will forget about all the muscles right here. And they'll just kind of draw a bicep like that and just be like, okay, I'm done. We got a deltoid, deltoid and a bicep. But it looks kind of funny because they're forgetting that there's stuff going on in this region and they'll just straight up draw the bicep. So that's what you got to remember. And what are these muscles here? This is the brachialis right here, the brachialis. And last muscle, oh, second to last muscle we're going to talk about today is the tricep. How are you guys doing? Oh, sorry. If you're missing the lesson, don't worry. Um, you're gonna have. I'm gonna upload it onto YouTube in a second. Like, I actually have like a package lesson that's gonna be really good. My lessons are fun because you guys get to ask ask me questions. I do not. I'm not able to get as in depth in like. Notice me, senpai. I notice you. Hello. Don't worry. You're better too. Oh no. They, um. Thank you, both. It's sweet. Am I supposed to be drawing that? No, you're not. We're gonna go. We're, all of us are going to work together and we're going to draw it together. So you don't have to be like super stressed out. Please repeat the names. Yes, I got you. So all these pictures are going to be, I think actually I'm going to upload them to my Instagram too and have like a step-by-step -step for you guys. But this is the deltoid. This is the bicep. Here, I'm going to use a better color. Deltoid, bicep, oh, not bicep, pectoralis major, which is basically the pecs. And um, bicep brachialis and then the tricep is the second to last muscle we're going to talk about so you can really almost barely see the tricep in the front view this is the front view by the way standing in front view and the tricep is really kind of a back arm muscle so if you're trying to kind of from side view you're going to see the tricep and this is really important guys uh, star no important you know look at it remember it so this tricep you're going to see these kind of muscle groups up here but there's this like flat tendon right here it's like a flat tendon, and actually, you can really see it. Hold on, you know, I got some big muscles. You know, let me see if you guys can see it. <laughs> you can't see anything. Oh my god, okay. But if I had muscles, you guys gotta pretend with me. But I mean, indulge me. Say, you guys are supposed to say, Look how big her muscles are. All right, gosh, okay. But if I did, you guys would see this really flat.
some right here, and then two large muscle groups up there. And if you guys notice, oh, <laughs> thank you, a broken marzipan. If you notice, guys, the um, tricep stops right at that elbow. You see this elbow right here? It's going to stop right there. So that's really fun because, you know, sometimes it's a little confusing how this all works together. So you're going to try to going to start. Oh, I have such ashy elbows. Oh, no. Uh, Y'all, don't cancel me. Some ashy elbows. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yes, Angela, um, Angelica Dino. That's exactly the comments I want to see. The Hulk. I did say the whole. That's exactly what I want to hear. All right, you guys gotta lie to me. All right. <laughs> okay. So that is almost all the muscles. We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. So the last muscle we are going to have to worry about is the ridge muscle. Okay, guys. This is gonna be some crazy stuff. The first um, four muscles we talked about, they're almost they kind of make sense to our heads because they're kind of almost on the same sides. But the rich muscles want to play with us. They want to mess with our minds. So I group two muscle bodies together. Um, uh, are you going to be on in like an hour or something? I don't know. I was hoping that I wouldn't be on past like, oh, snap. Yeah, I didn't think I would be on past nine. I think that's just way too long to keep you guys sitting here. But uh, I was trying to get, if it goes further, it goes further. I'll just see how it goes. Um, especially because some people come in late, so I got to catch them up. Okay, so the ridge muscle is right here, and it's made of, of two muscle groups. We're not going to learn the names right now because why? And also for artists, like, we're working, on, we're just trying to make things simple. We're trying to simplify. So the weird thing about the ridge muscles is it's kind of wedged in between. Remember what we talked about, the brachy, brachy owls before and the tricep? It's wedged right in between there on the humerus humerus is right here guys this bad boy right here and it's wedged right on there so if you guys want these pictures i think it's already in the patreon but um i will upload them a little bit later probably in the week so you guys can get them okay so it's wedged right in there and the weird thing about it is you can see it on the side view but it comes all the way down like it swings around from that wedge on the side all the way to the front of the arm so it was so confusing to me that I had to draw multiple pictures. So I'm going to pull this up right now for you. Cause I was just like, that is crazy. Like why is that muscle doing all that extra work? Like just be simple and do what I want. So I drew an extra little diagram for you guys, because I knew that this was going to be a little bit confusing, especially like me explaining it. I was like, Oh my God, what is going on? So I drew an extra diagram. So you guys can see how the ridge muscles work. So remember those yellow ridge muscles? I'm going to change them to black. I can't even see that. Oh, my gosh. All right. Whoop. Purple liner is not the move. All right. All right. So now that he is in a color that we can all see, we are going to... Oh, it's 3 a.m., sweetie. No. I appreciate you being here, though. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So how the ridge muscles... I like the art drive, though. I do. Okay. So this is the last muscle group we're going to learn. And it's going to, you're going to need your absolute hundo percento focus tonight. Because this is the one that gets a little bit weird sometimes. Especially when you're seeing it at different angles and stuff. It took me like a fat month to figure this out. Okay, so let me get a better color. So this is the brachialis. And this is my tricep. I am elbowed it's kind of right here. So bicep. And that, you can see that flat tendon right there that I'm illustrating here. Those two mus that muscle group flat tendon. And then you can see your brachy brachialis right there. And then this is your bicep. And this is your deltoid right here. But the ridge muscle kind of, he's doing his own thing. He's wedged right in there. <laughs> Not normal. <laughs> the fat month. Yes. Yes. Fat months, man. They're crazy. Okay. Anyway, so it'll swing around. It's going to line the front arm like the front side of your arm. So you, this is the palm downside. This is the palm upside. And it's going to be on the thumb side of your palm upside. If you can remember ridge muscle, palm upside, thumb, I know that sounds bad. It sounds so bad. It sounds so confusing. I made like an entire chart of things that are like directional. So you guys can like not get overwhelmed. I think it was right here. Oh, that's actually overwhelming. I don't want to show you guys that. It was too much. Okay, but this picture is going to be uploaded so you guys can see. I know you're probably thinking... Beyonce, I have never seen any of those muscles in my entire life on a person. Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yeah, sleep for nerds. We're up here with our sleep deprivation boys. I went to bed at 4 a.m. yesterday, and I had to get up at um, 8 for school. Bro, I was ascending. I was like, why am I alive? Questioning that reality. Okay, 
So we're gonna draw some. I'm gonna show you guys on some real people, so you, you can believe me that I'm not lying to you guys about muscles. All right, so let's find some random internet buff guys. I believe random internet buff guys are every artist's best friend. And you know why? Because we can see the muscles. I've been trying to bulk up for years only for the reason that I can take better reference images. And I am still so small. I have no muscles at all. So tonight, that is what we're going to do. We're going to do some muscle learning. All right, I'm going to turn that off because I want I want to I want to draw from scratch. Let's test Beyonce's anatomy knowledge with these random buff guys and see how we do. All right, random buff guy number one. Uh, all right, let's do this thing. Understandable sleep now. Raise your hand if you stay up till 6 a.m. Oh, my parents would kill me. I can, I can just imagine it. All right, so we have, these are the little names that we're gonna use. Boop, 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 boop. Because I don't feel like writing them again. I have this, my spelling is atrocious, guys. I swear to God. The fact that I, I probably misspelled stuff already, but like my spelling is atrocious. Like I was like full grown and I spelled pants wrong. I was, I was like, what am I doing with my life? Like I looked at it too for a five minute and I was like, yeah, this is right. Oh, it's not. Nice. Somebody raised their hand a full bunch. Someone is ready. Okay. Buff guy number one. All right. All right, class. Class. We're going to have some. We're going to have some. I don't know. I, you guys can't really tell me anything. I guess you could, but it's not like you could point to the board or whatever. All right. So let's look at this first arm here. We're going to do the deltoids first. So if we're remembering our deltoids, I feel like a. Okay. Y'all see me failing. <laughs> all right. So if we remember our deltoids real quick. All right, so we're not drawing this yet. I'm just gonna real quick show you guys on some real people and then we're gonna draw after this. Okay, so this, remember, is the deltoid. And you can see that it inserts right here on the collarbone, um, originates, sorry, it originates on the collarbone. It originates in three different locations, actually. One on the back, one like kind of right here, and then one in the front. So you can kind of see that it kind of comes in the front, but then it goes in the back. It's doing its own thing. It's got like three different muscle heads, but. Uh, we don't have to worry about that because um, we're lazy. We're artists. Artists are lazy. And we we want to simplify things. We want to work better. Now, more smarter, not harder. I have the same book I pick. Yes, we all have the same references. I'm a firm believer that we all have the same references. We just don't know it yet. It's like we're all connected by our, our reference images. All right, so that was the bicep. Can you guys see how, not bicep, I'm sorry, delta, you guys see how it stops right there right halfway down the forearm it's almost like it stops on the humerus hmm hmm a little suspicious all right let's look at the next one the brachialis sorry i hope you guys can read that brachialis all right we're gonna take that in red so you can't see the brachialis on this guy because he's just simply not buff enough he's not buff enough for our standards so but it would kind of look like this and a really buff individual it kind of looked like a circle in the back but it's, we can't see that right now. All right, but you can kind of see a little bit. A little sandwich. It sits right underneath that bicep. Kind of like a little sandwich, a little bologna sandwich or something. Like the, the, the biceps would be the bread, and I guess the brachialis is the, the bologna. I don't know. My analogies are bad. <laughs> okay, so now we get the brachialis done. Let's do the bicep. The bicep is by far the easiest. You can see it so easily. All right, bicep. Woo! And it inserts on its radius right there. All right, looking good, bicep. Looking good. Anatomy. Geniuses. We're all geniuses here. <laughs> I'm afraid my dad's gonna walk in. <laughs> no, no, no. No, you should show him. He's gonna be like, man, my kid's smart, learning anatomy. Yeah, you're right. This is family friendly. All right, <laughs> triceps. This is a very not good picture of the triceps because you can't really see the elbow, but you can kind of see that it stops pretty near like that elbow region. Tricep, a little bit of that bump where that muscle body is. Can't see the tricep at all in that side. All right, guys, it's the time to shine. This is the ridge muscle, all right? This is it. This is the ridge muscle. All right. You guys see, look at how it's wedged in between this mm, brachyradialis, brachialis, I'm sorry, brachialis and tricep. It's wedged right in there. And look at it do its thing, all suspicious like. It's gonna swing all the way around to the thumb on the front side. Mm. Being weird for no reason. Okay, so from this view, here you go. From this view, it's going to be so this is the thumb. You're gonna see it kind of like this. 
it is going to be thumb side. So it's going to be kind of chilling on the thumb side. All right. We did it, guys. We labeled all our pretty important artist muscles. All right. Bye, guys. Happy birthday, Marissa. It's too, it's, this is dangerous business. Saying it but am. Yeah, it's dangerous business. Yeah. If you got parents, mm, hit you with a chocolate man. I swear to God. Mexican parents, they, I'm playing around. All right. Let's see how I did. Let's check my work. I did this like a month ago. So let's see how I did. <laughs> Oh, 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 maybe, wait, I might have made a mistake. Hold on, let me check. I might have made a mistake, because I see that I put the ridge muscle on the other, no, this is wrong. This original one is wrong, because it shouldn't be crossing over the top. Okay, I was right the first time. Old Nita was wrong. Shame on you, Old Nita. Shame on you, because the ridge muscle, wait, hold on, actually, actually, let me see, because the ridge muscle... No, old Nita was right. Sorry about that, guys. You see, the ridge muscle is just one of just a confusing muscle because it should be on the outside of the arm. It's wedged in between the brachialis and the tricep. So old Nita was wrong. Sorry about that, guys. It's right here going to the thumb because, because it's on the outside muscles. It doesn't insert on the inside here. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, oh damn. Old Nita was right. Oh, I need your brush. Okay, I actually don't have any special brushes this is called the shale brush shale and it's right here in the calligraphy section guys i swear by this brush if you're a beginning artist and you just stumble on procreate and you start using the script brush guys i will ascend i will be like do not use a script brush because i don't like the way it looks out oh so it's racing okay but real quick just so if anybody left or anybody's coming in this is the ridge muscle on this side because the ridge muscle always is on insert or originates on the outside of the arm old pizza she knew what she was doing all right guys let's do this thing it's time for drawing okay all right this is the drawing time drawing portion of our live tonight all right so we have our random buff guy let me get my reference image out right. random buff guy from before and we already did i did this like boop. all right i did this from before this is kind of my, oh, actually, this might be the wrong buff guy. Yeah, that is the wrong buff guy. Yeah, this is the right buff guy. Right buff guy. So I did a different buff guy than the reference image we drew right now. This is the one. Okay. All right. So I did my interpretation of this guy. I'm going to give him a little bit more sassy because we're artists here, guys. I'm going to give him a little bit of a shoulder dip, a little bit of hip swing. Because, you know, it's looking good. Okay. Oh, you want to name him Max? I like that. All right. You guys should have this base already. You guys have this? If you don't, you need to go on my Discord, click the Discord link, and go to the, um, are you doing a video on this? Yes, I am. Because I couldn't cover everything today, because that would be a literal, like, 10-hour long thing. So I have this really good condensed video where I kind of attack all of this stuff and make a lot of sense. All right. So now that you know all your muscle groups and good stuff, let's go, let's draw today. Let's do our thing. Okay. So does everyone have their base? It should look like this. I already put like kind of the proportions in for you with this like orange line. Can I screenshot? Yeah, using a paper and pencil. We obviously do. I'm doing traditional. Can I extend under the muscles? Cause I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, do you do not have to do anything. This is a muscle tutorial, so I'm gonna like over exaggerate the muscles because you know, random buff guys, we gotta do what we gotta do. All right. Okay, just to make sure that I didn't confuse you guys with that last one. This will be the ridge muscle right here going into the thumb. You can see it right there. And it's going to be chilling right there behind the brachialis and the tricep. You can't see the tricep because it's off screen. That would be the ridge muscle right there. So the reason why the ridge muscle is important is it's really distinct on the forearm. The other muscles on the forearm, especially on the palm side, kind of melt together. That ridge muscle, you can really see it like a lot. It's always doing its thing. See, you can see it on this side too. Ridge muscle is right here. And it's melting onto the front of the thumb. Yeah. So it's right there. Mine is headless. <laughs> Hot boy. Wait, I don't have it. Okay. I'm going to send my Discord link in here. So you guys can go ahead and grab that base. <gasps> oh my gosh. I think I forgot to send it in the class. That's why you guys don't have it. Oh, I did a bad thing. Mm -mm -mm, for shame. All right. I'm going to send that in real quick. Do, 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 do. Taking a little commercial break, like, huh? Interesting. 
interesting. So while I do this, you guys tell me how your day went. I'm going to multitask, read, and do this. <laughs> That's a very good excuse to look at hot guys. You know, I respect the grind, guys. I do. The abs look weird for my face on paper. Um, okay. All right. I'm sending the link in the Discord in here. Copy link. Sorry, guys. I'm really untech savvy. I'm like a little old man. So you can imagine when I started my Discord, I was like, oh, my God. What am I doing? <laughs> so, like, I did so many, mis I made so many mistakes. Like, half of my, like, the Carl bot when I first set it up was, like, <laughs> banning the word cute and i was like oh my gosh if gay weeb was here she used to make fun of carl so much all right i'm gonna invite people mm -hmm. mm -hmm. servers oh there it is all right i got it we'll see all right there it is okay this is the invite if you guys click that and you go to update intercom right there you're gonna see the base and you can download it you can print it out or you can pop it up in a like drawing software or something and if you pop it up in a drawing software you can just like kind of do your own thing on top of it where will the streams be kept after they're done maybe i'll just get like a like a stream playlist i don't know i don't know what streams are really cringy guys. like i feel like if i watch my stream i would be like no <laughs> i can't believe i did that but I, okay maybe i'll save it I'll, maybe I'll save it to think because I know a lot of people couldn't be here because of time stuff, which sucks. Or some people just want to rewatch it. There's more power to you, you know? All right. You guys got the base. Where do you find your references? Pinterest, baby. I'm a Pinterest fiend. My Pinterest is so bad. I have like 900 images on there, but I'm organized about it. I'm not I'm not one of those Pinterest savers and they, they leave it. No, I got different subsections. Uh, muscles. What server? Um, I just shared the link. If you scroll up again, I'll share it again so you guys can come and get it. Boop. I'm drawing a feet head. Yeah, feet head. Guys, I hate drawing feet. Feet, feet are the one thing that ugh, I hate drawing. And I think it's because I found feet so weird. I just never drew them. Like, I would just draw shoes or socks. So now I'm in, like, that crisis mode where I'm like, I don't really draw feet that much. Like, I don't know like how to draw feet that well. And so now I'm like, Oh, now I gotta learn how to draw feet. So that's where I am in my drawing journey. This is off topic, but is there any way to make drawing shoes easier? Um, okay, so the way I draw shoes is I kind of break it down into basic shapes. Like, I literally, I'm not fancy with my shoes. I know people do like Converse and stuff and they're getting kind of crazy with theirs. I literally just break it down into basic shapes and then I kind of like, then I'll do like details or something. Like, that's like, that's like the basic shoe shape for me. Like, I'll be like, okay. Converse? Oh, she getting fancy now. She got a little Converse seal or something. Mm, crazy. <laughs> that looks terrible. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like, I'm like on sleep high right now. All right. That's like the basic shoe shape that I would get to. I Maybe if I'm feeling fancy, I would maybe add like a wedge. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I break it in a basic shape, like maybe semicircle, rectangle. All right. So, hey, can you math teach your guys? I'm, like, really bad at math, but, like, if you need, like, math help, though, I got the perfect man, organic chemistry tutor. Like, that's my husbando. My internet husbando, he doesn't know who I am, but, like, I don't even know what he looks like, but the way he teaches me math, man, I'm just like, mm. All right, you guys ready? All right, we're going to jump into it. I hope everyone has the base by now. Good luck. Uh, I'm not supposed to draw. Okay. I hope everyone has the base and so it should be able to follow along with my very interesting method but today what we are trying to attempt to draw is these guns right here these bad boys bad boy guns right here and you can see the distinct muscles that i tried to get at with my very crisscross hatching art style so i got the bicep right here i didn't draw the brachialis because this man is simply not buffing up for our art standards and you cannot visibly see his brachialis and for shame he was just simply not buff enough for us. And you can see the tricep a little bit. You can see that flat tendon zone. You can see the deltoid right there looking stiffy, looking good. And that's about basically all I see. So if you're wondering what this extra bump is, where you see the bridge muscle kind of, there's these uh, muscle bodies. They're called the flexors, I believe. 
And there's a whole bunch of different flexors in here. And I actually have like a video, not a video, but like I have a graph of this. We're not gonna worry about the flexors tonight. We are we are trying to learn and I don't want to overload nobody. Update intercom. Yes, go into update intercom. Sorry I'm late, late, no one wanted to hang out with me, but Hasoka was like, no, don't be with me. Mm, drama, drama, drama. Oh my gosh. I sketched the whole base right now. Oh, impressive. Uh, you should be teaching the class. I forgot I was eight. I missed a lot. Oh, it's okay, sis. We just started the drawing, so don't worry about it. Wrist and forearms are, oh. Okay, so if you struggle with wrist, do the Nika cheat, the, the Beyonce cheat method where she just hates drawing wrists. So what I basically do, I wonder if I have my original sketch layers here. No, I deleted them like a noob. Can't believe I did that. All right, anyway. When I draw a wrist, I really am lazy. So what I like to do is I just simplify to a box. Like I ain't going to be doing any of this extraness. Box. Box. If you want to get real fancy with the wrist, I'm going to show you something crazy. Boom. Add a bump on the pinky side and your anatomy professor and or art teacher will ascend. I promise. Because you have your own bone on the pinky side and your own bone kind of, you. It, it's more pronounced. It's more like noticeable you guys want to know something cool okay so if you bring your arms kind of towards you you can turn them in like all the way like this but you can't turn them in this way you want to know why you can do this because your ulna bone is right here and there's a gap between your ulna bone and your like your hand so you can do all the way this but you can't do this because your radius is right attached to the carpal bones in your hands <sighs> Ascension. That's right. Blue your minds. Discord. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Go sleep, my love. It's on Discord. Yeah. Should I draw Sango's face on the beat? <laughs> do what you got to do. I want to see all, all these images that you guys do tonight. I want to see them. Okay. So I'm assuming everyone has the base right now. And if not, that's tough. I'm sorry. If not, just comment though. I'll help you out. I'll help you out if you don't have the base. I know our art and this is so confusing. Oh no, babe, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, my lives go pretty fast. I kind of assume you know some of the basics, which sucks because I shouldn't. It's just because like I as everyone's at different levels, so I kind of assume some things, which sucks. I that's why I make YouTube videos though. So I like make the this is the live, and then I have a YouTube video version of the live, which is like super condensed, and I get through all the good stuff really slowly so you can rewind for yourself. So that's kind of like where I'm at. So actually the wrist was a really good place to start. Let's start right there. So you can add your wrist, a little box to your hand, and a little bit of bump. I already drew the hand for you guys. I was not getting fancy with this hand. I was like bare minimum, once again, sticking in a pocket like a pro, like all of us avoiding, uh, hand avoiding winners. Okay, so this is where the box wrist method gets a little fancy, guys. All right, my head got blown up. No, I'm trying to make it to my crush. <laughs> yes, Loki, I need to update on how that happens, okay? Okay, so this is where the box method is kind of crazy. You have to look, you can't just make random boxes. You gotta see, Kind of the planes. You gotta think 3D, guys. But you gotta think 3D. All right. So thinking 3D about our hand box, you can see that this box looks a little different. This is a different box, guys. Let me change that color. That was illegal. What I just did. I used a brown color on brown skin for you guys. That was illegal. All right. Anyway, so this box looks a little different, guys. That box has a different angle than this box. So remember, drawing is basically copying what you see and trying to fake it till you make it. That's what I see it as at least. So we have our first box and it was super easy to do. It was just a regular old box. But now this box, this is an angle box, you know, this is an art box. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna replicate that. I don't know what angle this would be, but I kind of drew like a, like a this. And then we're gonna cross it over and attach it to that line I already drew for you guys. So this line should already be on your paper. Sorry, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Cross it. Eight. All right, see how you guys did about that. I love looking at hands, but I hate drawing them. No, I feel you. Oh, you guys want to see something really cool? Okay, before before I lose you guys, I'm gonna show you something really cool. Okay, yo, bro, I drew these. Like I'm telling you right now. When I did this, bro, I was ascending. Like I was like, I am such a professional now. Like, look at these like i was like no way so basically i kind of learn a lot when i start teaching people like when i kind of like start making lessons i realize how much of the stuff that i was doing was wrong because i go into like deep deep research mode and so after i'm done i'm like did i just do that so that is going to be our next lesson after this one so you guys look forward to that one it's going to look really fun i think hands are my new favorite thing to draw now i was so impressed feet feet are so bad 
feet are still bad, guys, but hands, I'm getting there. All right. So let's do this thing. All right. Do you guys want to play the game now and give yourself... Oops. Sorry, my desk rose. Do you guys want to play the game now and give yourselves a brain break and then come back to drawing? Or do you want to play the game after we draw? I'm trying to let you guys decide. I'm using paper and pencil. I'm excited for the hands because... <laughs> oh, my God. Your hand says, hey, I am proud of you for admitting that. That's admitting that is the first step, all right? Ah, my desk is rising up. You guys see my desk going up? I have one of those rising desks, but since I'm, like, on the edge, it keeps, like, rising with me right now. Okay, you want to do it after. Okay. I see a lot of after. Okay. I'm seeing after. Okay. All right. So, let's do that after, because the game is going to give you guys two points for your team, which is a lot of points, guys. Like, when I tell you, last semester, orange team won by only one point. Blue team was right there. It was 11 to 10. I was like, whoa, who's going to get this, man? I was, I was buying my nails for you guys. And so you guys get a classic Beyonce picture drawn. I'll show you the picture after we're done. It looks pretty good. All right. So I'm assuming you guys got your wrist boxes down by now. I like to talk to let you guys have time. So those are your, ah, I went to the wrong one. There you go. The one with the buff guy. All right. I'm assuming you guys got your wrist boxes down. So we're going to worry about the wrist boxes later. I just wanted to get them down before we started doing random stuff. All right. So let's draw the shape of the muscle first before we kind of start here. I'm going to turn off the light so you guys can see. Let's draw the shape of the muscles first before we start redefining it. So I'm just going to kind of maybe make an outline almost before we start kind of going in and getting those individual muscles just to save us some pain. You guys see the circles right there? The circles on your paper Draw everyone who's saying it's after 3 a.m. <laughs> Have mercy. Mercy. Wait, hold on. How do you know what team you're on? Yes. What team you're No, this is the chat for everybody. The team you, you're on is basically on the top of your Google Classroom banner. If you're not in my Google Classroom, then your team color is white and you play for my team. That's right. If a white team member wins, then you have to give them points to me, your favorite teacher. If I win, no drawings for nobody. I get to take the day off. But, um, <laughs> if everybody else wins, then they get a team draw for them. All right. Orange gang. Okay. So let's work on, I think, let's work on the easier arm. This is definitely the easier arm because the perspective is not as insane. So let's do this. Um, okay. Is it better if I keep it like this? Or do you guys want me to zoom in? I don't know. What's better for you guys? I can zoom in. I don't know if you guys also want to see the reference image. <laughs> oh, green team and orange team are fighting right now. Oh, blue team, the ties have changed. I learned more art here than in my art class in school. No, I'm not gonna lie. I took my first like real, real art class this year. I haven't learned a thing. Like my art teacher is really cool. He's amazing and stuff. But it's like I've learned more independently than I've ever learned in an art class. Like I've never learned like crazy stuff in an art class. Zoom in a little bit, please. Okay, we're gonna zoom in just a bit. Okay, let's do this thing, guys. Okay, so when I draw my muscles, I kind of remember my insertions and my origins. So let's remember how our deltoid stops right in that kind of that middle line of the oops, wrong side. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so our deltoid stops right here in the middle. It's going to kind of stop like a little bit towards the front. It inserts origins, inserts a little towards the front, and it stops halfway down the humerus bone. All right. So, boom. We successfully drawn a deltoid, like a pro, like a pro. All right, how are you guys doing? Your deltoid's all good and drawn? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna draw is we're gonna draw both. My art teacher hates anime. Oh my gosh, how could you do that? I don't, I don't know, I get what they're saying, like they want you to learn how to draw like from real life and stuff, but it's like, People want to draw for fun. Like, I'm not taking this art class because I want to be bored and I don't want to paint Vance and Go, you know. I want to do what I want to do, you know. Like, it's just fun. Like, mm -hmm. you know. That's why my art class is not that serious. Like, I'm not like, you have to turn in your work. Like, I mean, I have the rule that you have to at least do two assignments because, like, some people were just like, they join the class and then be like AFK the whole time. And I'm like, bro, I only have like that many C flip. Like, you can't be AFK. Like, so I have like the, you have to at least do like, one assignment, but like other than that, you can turn them in late. Like I'm not gonna be like a triggered, triggered art teacher or something like that. So I'm like, man, I'm, I'm my own assignment. All right, anyway, <laughs> that was a weird off-topic rant. All right, so you see the bicep right here, and so we're gonna draw our bicep boy right there. Bicep. All right, looking good. All right, next is the tricep. 
So we can almost like not even see the tricep that well, but you see a little bit of a bump and then like, why are my colors so bad? Brown again. All right, you can see a little bit of a bump and then the flat tendon, flat tendon. I can't tell in this image if his tricep is this big. It looks about that big, but he doesn't have really divine traps. Once again, he's not up to our art standards. For shame, I'm guessing this would be the brachialis right here, but it's almost like just right there. Almost not distinct enough for our art eyeballs to know, so I'm not going to do any kind of crazy lines. It's just not distinct enough, but we will define our traps just a teensy bit today. Yes, we can. Because we're artists. That's what we do. All right. So let's define our trap muscle, and then we're going to bring in that flat that tendon zone from before. If you were here before, you know there's a flat tendon right there, and then you have that muscle body up top, flat tendon. Let's go. All right, looks good. Let's check my original, make sure I'm not going crazy. Sometimes I, I do this, and I look at my original. Okay, that looks about right. Let's see, let's do it at the same time. Okay, I see it, but I went a little bit further out than my actual image. But I can fix that real quick. I just don't want them to look too different because when it looks too different, then I start deviating from the script. But I mean, it's right. It's just different. Okay. Boom. Looks good. All right. Random arm dude right back on there. All right. All I did was shift it over a little bit. I didn't do anything to the anatomy. Just trying to clean up that a little bit. All right. Let's work on the forearm. Okay, guys. The forearm's going to get a little bit crazy today. My mom's not my mom asking why I'm drawing that. Oh, dude, I feel you, man. I can't. Sometimes, man, I got to you got to close that procreate with some thinking in mind. You got to open up that beginning layer, like that top layer, turn it black. That's just my little tip for the night. You guys do what you want with that, all right? Just do with what you want. All right. Anyway, so the, the forearm's going to get a little crazy right now. So I need you guys to, to really turn on those brains. All right. So we know that this is the ridge muscle, and it's going to kind of come from up here and stick to the front of the arm. So it's going to kind of disappear on the front of the arm. Bridge muscle is kind of going to do that. But what is this indent right here? What is that unearthly indent? And that is your bone. So this is called your ulnar furrow, I believe, from my research. It's called your ulnar furrow. And basically, it's where your ulnar bone, remember, ulnar bone's pinky side. That's why you can't do this. So ulnar bone's pinky side. And so your ulnar furrow is right there. And your ulna is actually your elbow. And know that. So ulna stands for elbow. And you have an actual elbow called the olecron. Don't worry about that. But that's your ulna furrow. So you guys can like do what you want with that information. Darken it, do whatever. And there's another muscle group right here. These are called your extensors. And they are from the, they come from the same side as your ridge muscle. All right. So it's going to kind of come from up here. And it's going to extend kind of like a diamond. Remember, guys, we work in basic shapes here. Diamond all the way to the palm. It's not going to be that long. Just individual extensor muscles. But simplifying it for our purposes today. It's kind of be like that. I think this is actually a flexor muscle right here, or it might be skin because it's kind of peeking across that ulnar furrow. So you guys see this basic shape that we did here? Big diamond, long rectangular trapezoid thing. I don't know. I almost say that's a, oh man, I feel a class. What is it? Like um, a rhombus, I guess. What are those skinny ones? It's just like a different name for the skinny rhombuses. I don't think so. Or is this like a parallelogram? I don't know. Oh, guys, I have calculus semester, and I'm just like, no, like, I could barely do math already. Why are you putting me in calculus? Oh, gosh. Um, no, but it's okay. It's okay. All right. So look at the basic shapes that we did here today. We're going to try and replicate that on arm, arm man. I drew a muscle property. Yes, that's what I want to hear. All right. Let's do that together. All right. So we see that original diamond. I'm going to pretend that this is my ulna bone just for the sake of my health reasons. I know the ulna bone's probably a little bit, looks a little different, a little bit more scientific, but for our art purposes today, I'm going to keep it simple. Okay, so this is the, this is that first rhombus right there, or diamond or something. It's going to, remember, it's back here, but we're not going to worry about that because you can't really see that that well. And then we're going to draw the second rhombus that kind of leads into that wrist muscle area. Oh, man, wait, let me remember. Extensors come from the, I believe, it's one of the epicondyles. I'm trying to remember if it's lateral or medial, but I don't want to worry about epicondyles today, but it's always on that same kind of origin area. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to make a forearm video later. Oof, I don't know why I'm sweating so much. It's like I'm trying to make sure those lines are good. 
So I don't want to mess up. All right, there you go. Looks good. So that's that second diamond trapezoid thing. And it kind of fans out into like a, I don't know, a rectangle where it meets the box. We're going to clean this up later. Don't worry, guys. I just want to get it right. And then we're going to draw across that old Nefero right there. Right across that old Nefero. And now I'm going to clean it up. So you don't see as much stark lines when you clean it up. All right, guys, I'm going to teach you something cool. It's not on screen. Yeah, it is. It's right there. Oh, it might have not been. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. I didn't. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'll do it again. All right. That's all right. Practice makes perfect, right? All right. So I'm assuming. Okay. I'm going to take a different color then. All right. Blue. Okay. So we're going to draw this first rhombus here, which, remember, is the ridge muscles. A group of two muscles that I will be left unnamed. They're right here. And we are going to replicate that shape over here. I'm going to pretend this is my ulna because I want to. Ulna looks a little bit different, but for the sake of our health, we're going to leave it that way. Okay. So this is my ridge muscle and it's right here. And it looks like a diamond. Yeah. All right. Looks like a diamond. It's going to go into the front. Guys, remember when you're drawing, I'm telling you guys, if you break it down to basic shapes, you're literally Vincent Van Gogh already or all those famous artists because that's all they do. They're just breaking down those basic shapes, but they're imagining the anatomy. So that's what drawing is for me. I'm just like imagining shapes and I'm copying them and then they look good and then I add some shading and then all around clap, 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 clap. clap. All right. Oh my gosh. With it zoomed out again? That's a Lego. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Once again, sorry guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, that's that first rhombus right there. Rhombus, we're remembering that it's kind of right in between our traps and our bicep rhombus. All right. Boom, looks good. All right, that was our first one. That was that rhombus right there. So now we're going to draw this larger rhombus, which is your extensor muscles. There's a bunch of them. There's like a bunch of them going on. And there's only one that I really kind of look at, remember when I'm drawing. We're going to talk about that a little later after we get our basic shapes done. So it kind of looks like, a, I don't know how to say it, like a rhombus, like a, like a rhombus thing. All right, so we're going to do that. From the top over here, it's coming from its epicondyle down here. Little rhombus boy. And then it fans out for the rest where it means. Rhombus. Thank you for being a friend. All right, there you go. I think we're done. Let's check if our shapes were kind of accurate. Yeah, I mean, it was a little softer, but I mean, I think it still conveys what we're talking about. We're going to erase later when we're done, but I think that's pretty good. Oh, whoa, my arm looks good. Yay, we can do it. <laughs> when you're 52 minutes late, don't worry. We're going to work on the other arm. So you're 52 minutes early for this arm that's perspective all right so the last one is this kind of little i think this okay this might be the ulnaris um flexor carpi ulnaris muscle that's what i'm thinking because it's a, a behind the ulna furrow forgive me if i'm wrong but that's your ulna furrow so if you have the ulna that's going to be the flexor muscle so this is your ulna right here and you're going to have your little peaking flexor muscle coming through a little bit might be a flexor, might just be skin. We can't tell, but. So I'm just going to kind of cap off the. It's kind of, I'm going to say that's the elbow right there. And now we're going to do a little bit of erasing. We're going to redefine our lines, but I'm just going to do a little bit of a darkening because we see that on the is pretty dark. That on the is pretty dark. So I'm going to do a little bit of shadow work. You guys don't have to do this, but you can just erase some of those lines. Make them a little bit gentler. A little gentler. Boop, boop, boop. Mm -hmm. Add some transitions. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Right into that box boy over there. I think I'm going to make my ridge muscle a little bit bigger just to give the arm a little bit of shape. I don't like how flat it is at this side. All right. A little bit of shape. A little bit of shape, shape, shape. All right. Looks good. 
I think this looks like an arm, guys. I think we just did ourselves an arm. Holy, I did it. Yes. <laughs> Bro, I got to pee. You got to go. You got to go. Okay. Hold up. I actually did something. Yay, guys. I'm so happy. I love seeing when you guys say that you're getting it. All right. So you guys want to do the other arm now or do you want to play the game? I'm sipping for all my crushes over again. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't, I cannot keep up. You have the base, reread deed random. If you have the base, it's a lot faster because um, a lot of my students already have this like base drawn up. They're just drawing the arms. Looks so good. The other arm, please. All right, let's do the other arm. Let's do it. My self taught proportions. <laughs> the lesson. <laughs> You're making me laugh. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna lie. You know what's weird? I've been drawing for such a long time and I got an anatomy book over Christmas. I was reading it and then I realized how large my heads are. My heads were egregiously huge and I didn't realize until after I read the book. So now all my old art once again is trash. I'm like, no, their heads are big. So guys, I'm telling you, I, this, I don't know if this happens to you, but it happens to me. When I leveled up at my art, all my old art becomes trash again. I'm just like, it's bad. I can't look at it. It just becomes so bad. I can't look at it. I need to learn how to set up art programs. Uh, you did this on paper. Yay. Good job, sis. I'm so proud of you. All right. So for this next muscle, the perspective is a little bit more daunting because it's kind of like in the distance, you know, like super mysterious arm. So the super mysterious arm, let's do the basic shapes of the forearm first or the upper arm. I see it interchangeably. It's so dumb so bad okay let's do that basic shape and then we'll do the muscle intricacies and stuff all right let's do this thing all right i hope you guys can see so the basic shape let's see it kind of looks like i don't know a rumpus boy like another oh god i need to stop naming shapes i don't know what that is let's try it let's give it a lighter color it kind of <sighs> remember guys the delta doesn't just it's not just this there's another like there's another subsection in the back. Like, Loki took me forever to figure that out, too. Like, I was like, oh, the delta goes all the way around. Yeah, it actually kind of stops at the back. So just remember that, especially if you're drawing back knees anytime soon. All right. So it kind of looks like that. And then we kind of got this, like, boxy boy right here. It looks like a box. So let's draw those basic shapes together. And then once we get that done, we are going to kind of define the muscles. So let's see. It kind of looks like... A triangle we already i already drew the deltoid a little bit for you guys so kind of got that triangle shape all you kind of got to do is oh let me use a dark color all you got to do kind of do this looking good looking good honestly all i did was connect the lines i didn't do nothing too fancy all right so for our bicep the bicep's a little bit behind the pectoralis in this image yeah so i had to check the reference oh you guys saw that that was the 10 minute of death in my oh let me hold on let me get my charger guys one time i was um in a tiktok live and i record on my phone when i do tiktok live and i was literally like answering questions and then i went dark for a second because my phone died and everyone on the discord was like who got it face are you okay and i was like oh, i'm fine <laughs> but it was uh it was chaos it was bad so i plug in all my electronics now i was trying to write it out but it was not right it was not meant to be okay so this is my perspective circle i guess basically i made this little circle for you guys to see where the bicep kind of goes into that distance so we're drawing that boxy shape remembering that some of the bicep is hidden by the what's it call it the pec so we're gonna boop boop diagonal line behind the pec and then it's gonna kind of stop at that circle we're gonna say the circle is the end of the humerus for purposes known to me which is laziness because I don't want to draw no realistic humor, humorous. All right, so the bicep, uh, it kind of looks like a football. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. It's like, I don't even know. It, like, it kind of looks like, a, I guess, like an oval. I think that would be better. I mean, yeah. Yeah, like an oval. So you can kind of see it over here. Let me turn off my basic one. So that was the basic shapes. We can kind of see it over here, like the, that shape, ovally shape. And it kind of does this weird thing at the end. You guys see that zoom I did? Okay, um, hold on. I still, this is the layers galore problem. Love digital art, but sometimes the layers, they bring you pain. And that's just the facts. All right, we're good, we're good. Okay. So you see this little, it kind of does this. I don't know if that's the hold of the skin or like where it inserts on the tendon so you can kind of see it kind of going down. But it has that V shape. At least that's what I do when I draw the bicep. That's kind of how I denote it. 
just like that V shape. And then it kind of like goes like that. So we're gonna do that ourselves over here. Where are you? Boop, boop, boop. All right. Dark color and let's do this thing. Football. Remember it inserts on the scapula. Yeah, it inserts, uh, originates on the scapula, which is back here. So it's gonna be sitting beneath the pecs and beneath the deltoid. All right. All right, looking good, looking good. And then it's gonna have that little V right here where it kind of does its thing, inserting on its perspective area. And I, I don't know, this looks, I have to say it's a trap. I mean, it could be the brachialis, but there's not really any defined muscle body right here. I would just kind of, I would just kind of curve it out. It could still be a part of the bicep, but I'm just going to curve it out like that. Look at the traps though. Curving it out. Looking good. All right. So we got that little V in the bicep. And where you see that little V, that little V is really fun. And I use it all the time because where are you? There you go. There's, hate them. So that little V is fun because what I do with it is really cool. I use it to separate my um, the, yeah, the flexor muscles right here and the ridge muscle when you're drawing the forearm. Oh my God, that was a terrible color. Buff man, is there any way, chance you'll be uploading the stream? Hopefully, if all goes well, I can't upload the stream. But with my history and YouTube, I don't know, guys. It's kind of, oh, I look so dark right now. Like I look like I'm a little... A little shadow dude all right so that little v is great because i use it for the ridge muscle right here and then it separates the flexor right there so it's really great and these are the probably a little bit of the extensor muscles okay but we don't need to worry about that so let's draw our flexors and our extensors i mean our ridge muscles the ridge muscles are actually in the extensor group i think yeah but you don't need to worry about that. So using your little V, I'm gonna bring down your muscle groups a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of make that like kind of that, that straightness and then we're gonna use that V before. Hold on, I need to zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, I hope you guys can see that. My colors are a little bit getting kind of light, which sucks. All right, so that extensor muscle coming through I mean, I'm sorry, ridge muscle, forgive me, guys. I'm, it's that, that eight, ninth hour when you can kind of tired. All right, a little bit of that flexor muscle. All right. Ooh, that's so sketchy. All right, let me check my reference, see if I did it. Do, 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 do. I have five half bodies. I actually have good arms. Your mind is better muscles than showed you. Hey! Mine look like worms. All right, let's see how I did. Let's see if old needs to do a little bit better. I'm always like brushing during the live, so my art always looks really bad. So let's see. Hmm. Hold on. That might be too small. I think that was too small from my reference. Let's make that a little bit beefier. Let's turn on my old one and see what I did there. <laughs> oh, okay. I see what I did. I brought that out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I see what I did there. I was like, why does it look so small? That's why. Okay. So I exaggerated it a little bit. Okay. So I took the flexor muscle, the ridge muscles right here. And that's your flexor. And I kind of just brought this back arm extensor kind of out a little bit more. Yeah. All right. How are you guys doing? This one is harder, not gonna lie. Yeah, even I messed up right now. I was like, wait, what did I do? Oh my God, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna redo it so I can show you guys what I did. All right. All right, so we have our bicep and that little V line right there. Whoop, whoop. I'm gonna go up. See, that's how you know this is live because you know we're, we're working this together, we're working this together. All right, 
And let's do the basic shapes instead before we do our muscles. I think that's where we kind of went wrong. So the basic shape of this bad boy looks like a turkey leg. I'm not going to lie. He looked like a tall turkey leg. All right. I'm going to delete that. Oh, sorry, guys. It's the layer, layer palooza again. I'm trying to find that red one. There it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's try the whole shape first, and then we'll worry about the muscles. Like a... Mm -hmm. All right. It kind of looks like this. I don't know. An M connecting to the box. That's the best I can do for analogies. M connecting to the box right there. So I'm drawing that M using the V of our previous little bicep thing. Yeah, I think this might work better a little bit. Oh, hold on. You guys probably can't see it because I dark, dark once again. All right. I'm using that M, bringing it out, and we're coming down. All right. Kind of looks like it. I think I might have accentuated the other side a little bit. All right. So all I did was M, M shape, and then I brought it down to connect for a box. How do you guys do with that? You simplified it a lot for me. Yeah. I'm random. I named a random drawing side template. <laughs> Steve. All right. So let's define our muscles a little bit better. So this one would be the bridge muscle. I'm not going to do anything crazy with them. I'm just going to kind of split it a little bit. And that's the flexor. <gasps> no, I deleted my other side. Oh, that's illegal. Oh, never mind. I turned it off. <laughs> All right. We're good, guys. We're good. All is well in the land. Okay, guys. I think that's it. I feel like if I flip the canvas, I'm going to be scared, but I think it looks pretty close to the one I did earlier. Oh, I mean, it's a little bit less. Ex it's a little bit less, but yeah, I think I extended out a little bit more on the other side. Let me try that again. Just going to bring it out a little bit more. It's the perspective. I think the guidelines that I drew before were a little bit, a little bit skewed. Because it makes this arm look really tiny, which it shouldn't be. I think it's the perspective. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go over it real quick and see if I can bring it out a little more. All right. Do, 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 do. Sometimes. Oh, my God. Well, I'm happy that I could keep you very awake. But it's a crowning achievement of my life. I feel accomplished. All right, I'm just gonna draw it one more time just because I'm kind of OCD. I'm like, has to match, has to match. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do this one more time just to make sure I'm matching it like I want it. It might be the box. I think it's the box. I think I made the box too small. All right. I think that's the best we're going to get tonight. Let's play the game. I mean, it looks all right. All right. How did you guys do? How did you guys do? My arm, my guys, my arms, like, skin. <laughs> the reference looks scary. Yeah. He's mean mugging. I'm going to use this to make it. <laughs> Looks like something out of my mind. All right. You guys, how are you feeling? Do you guys want to play the game now? It's kind of good. Yes. I did that, but so it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to have a video so you guys can like break this down for yourself and like do it on your own time.
All right, let's do this. All right. All ready. Let's see. All right, so this is the chromatic days quiz, basically. How well do you know your teacher? And the first person to guess correctly gets a point for their team. So we're going to start off nice and easy, all right? What, what is my first name? Oh, it stumped you now. Oh, somebody got it. It's Beyonce. Yep. <laughs> All right, Bagwet. <laughs> what team are you on? Bag Bagwet. Baguette. All right. So Baguette one point. So if you tell me what team you're on, do 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 do. B A. Um, Baguette. You tell me what team you're on, and I will give you points for your team. Okay, she said yellow. So I'm guessing one point for yellow team. All right, yellow team taking the lead. So how we're going to do this, the first of five points wins the entire game, and you guys get the two points for your team. That's how we're going to do it today. So yellow team, one point. Good for you guys. Good for you. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's do another question. Uh, uh, this might be unfair to people who live out of state, but... Um, hmm. What state do I live in? This is going to be hard. You guys are not going to know. If that happens, I get the point, guys. <laughs> she said Ohio. No, I would never do that. <laughs> California, no. Florida, I'm not a star. Georgia, somebody got it right. All right. So, Canna the Roach, you got it first. Canna. Canna the Roach. What team are you on, sis? Canna, you got it right. What team are you on? Avocados from Mexico. <laughs> East Coast gang. Yeah, see, you, if you connected the clues you would have known see i said 8 p.m eastern so i would have to live in the east gotta connect the dots like that guys yeah kana did it or maybe okay kana said green team which is good all right green team tied all right let's go tied 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 all right let's think of another question something that you guys will get because i know that was me um hmm Okay, this one isn't hard, but it's like you'd have to be around for a while to know. What is my Instagram name? Like my art Instagram. Oh, it was chromatic days, guys. <laughs> My name is all the same on all platforms. So Poison Ivy got it right. All right, Poison Ivy, what team color are you on? If you don't have a team, you can choose white. All right. Yep, it's chromatic days. All of my things are the same because I got lucky. Maybe it's just a bad name or maybe it's just super long because nobody wanted it. So I was like, cool, I guess all my, uh, my things are the same. We don't have Insta. Sorry, sis. All right, let me think. Let me think. All right, so we have all right. What did who said it first? It was, um, I think it was Poison Ivy who said it first. Poison Ivy, what team are you on? So, Poison, Poison Ivy, okay. what team are you on? <laughs> Um, Poison Ivy, can you type your team name again? I missed it. Oh, they said orange. Oh, orange team. Orange team was the winners of last year's, uh, last semester's class team. They did pretty good. I think it's just because they showed up to a lot of things. I don't know if they were. 
I don't know if they did anything. They just showed up a lot. All right. We have two more questions left, and all our teams are tied right now. So let's do this. I'm going to – let's see. Hmm. All right, let me think of a good question. Um, okay, this is a good one. But it's a it's a bad it's it's mean. All right, what do I draw on? Not what app do I draw on? I draw on Procreate, but what is the device? And you got to be specific about it. Oh, somebody got it. That was too easy. <laughs> yeah, it's an iPad Pro. <laughs> okay, so him himiko, um, H I M I K O U on him Nico got it. All right, what team are you on, boy? Or, but yeah. See, I thought you guys were gonna guess the air, but you guys, you guys saw right through me. I was like, they're gonna guess the air. They're not gonna know. I gotta say iPad Mini for you guys knew. Oh, Hamiko, do you have a team name or are you on? You don't have a team. Oh, Purple, Hamiko is on Purple team. All right. Oh my gosh, are we not gonna have any winners tonight? Okay, Purple team. If we don't have any winners, these four teams will be able to like I don't know have a competition amongst themselves. All right. We have one more question. One more question. Let's see. I'm going to make it hard this time. You guys won't even know. All right. Uh, let me think. Um, hmm. I'm trying to be hard, but not like evil. You know what I mean? Hmm. Okay, this one is going to be bad, but, like, I think it's going to make sense. When did I start, not this Google Classroom, but when did I start teaching Google Classrooms? It was recent, but it's, like, a specific month. When was the first Google Classroom held? This one's going to be mean. Oh, you guys got it. It was October. All right, yeah. Pathos, you got it first. It was October. Dang, my questions are easy. <laughs> All right, Pathos, what team are you on? It was October. Yeah, I started in last October. It's been crazy. I did not think I was going to do this and it was going to get this crazy, but it really did get crazy. Yeah, it was definitely October. <laughs> All right, Pathos, what, what team are you on? Oh my gosh, red team. We have a five-way tie. This is crazy. Literally the only team that hasn't got a point is blue team. All right. All right, so I have to do another question. If blue team gets it, I'm just going to lose my life. I'm just going to be like, everybody gets a point. All right, blue team. All right, blue team's the only one. So let's think. Okay, I mean, this is going to be hard. This is going to be the question. You guys are not going to get it. All right, let me think. Mm. All right. Mm. It's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. Um, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll do a anatomy question. All right. Yeah, that's that's gonna be good. Okay, so I here let me turn this off. So I drew this a few days ago, and what muscle group? Is this one? Hold on. This one. Oh, yeah, it was a bicep. <laughs> Who got it? It was loose cookie. Nope, it was poison ivy. Wait, I'm going up. I'm going up. Somebody said it before. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, stream is delayed. <laughs> okay, loose cookie was the first. Loose cookie was the first. Co loose cookie, what team are you on? Oh, that scary noise is my desk. It keeps going up and down and like kicking me in the, the stomach. Loose cookie, blue team. Oh my god, we have a six way tie. Okay. All right, this is a question for all the money, all the dollar bills. All right, so blue team, you freaking did it. I don't know how you did it, but you better thank her. 
You better thank her. She did. The, she killed it for you guys. Oh man, that was some crazy stuff. I can't believe it. All right, blue team. How could you do this to me? Now I gotta think of another question. <laughs> all right, this is the question for all the bagels. This is all the bagels right here. All the bagels. What number am I thinking of when I say from one to 50, go? Mmm, some of your clothes. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, somebody did it. It was Crow Man. It's 49. What team are you on, Crow Man? It's over. <laughs> Still going. All right, Crow Man, what are you? Crow Man. Oh, yellow team. Okay, that's it, guys. Yellow team snagged the two whole points for their team. So I think this makes yellow team the leading team for now on because the Instagram one is only one point. But, I mean, all right, yellow team, you guys won two points for tonight. Good job. Everyone think Crow Man. <laughs> all right, everybody. Oh, so if you guys want to know like, what you win, so let me see. Let me see where it is. You guys can see my sneaky little procreate. <laughs> trying to find it it's right here yes there it is okay so this is orange team's picture that i made for them so they wanted an among us themed picture so it, this is what they wanted so this is what i made so if you guys win you guys get to choose the theme my theme that i want is the mario kart theme i think it's the best theme but they wanted among us so this is what you guys get you also get your own home base you get a lot of cool perks so you guys gotta show up to the stuff and represent all right Wait, baguettes. Mm -hmm. It was baguette? Mm -hmm. baguette. Okay. All right, guys. I'll do the thing where I got to go through each one. Oh, I'm a good person. Oh, no, it doesn't let me go up. I'm sorry, guys. All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. If I can't find the proof, it's based on what my eyeballs see. So I'm sorry, dudes. It's a, I'm, an Im, I'm, a, I'm a biased judge. It's what I see first. All right, everybody. Yellow team had it. Don't worry, guys. Points are not as hard as you think to make. All, as long as you show up, you pretty much make a point. Um, you just got to be on top of it and just kind of read the Google Classroom. But thank you guys for coming. Oh, my God. There were so many of you guys, and you guys were so much fun. It made me laugh like all the whole time. This was literally the most fun live I think I've had in a while. Like I love TikTok lives, but something about this is just so much better. It was just like so like personal, and I got to see you guys and just be with you guys. Okay, Livia off danger. If you got proof, send it to me. But I think I'm just gonna give it to Yellow because it's like eh, it's too much. You know, it's just like what I see. If I see it, you know. All right, <laughs> three hours of school. All right, you guys. You guys are amazing. I'm gonna go eat my dinner. <laughs> But you guys were so cool. Oh my god, I'm so happy that I did this because you guys are literally awesome. Yeah, they're yellow, so it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, this was so cool, guys. This was so amazing. Thank you, Edie Edie. You gotta butter me up, guys. You gotta lie to me. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys. All right, bye everyone. You guys were literally the best. No, kisses. Oh, oh, before I go. If you guys drew with me today, send it in the Discord. Like, send it in the Discord and tag me. I think I'm going to make put it in Art Homework Finished. Because that'll count as your Art Homework for the week. And you don't have to do anything else. So send it in Art Homework Finished. Or tag me on Instagram. And I will show you all the love. I Every time somebody tags me on Instagram or uses the hashtag Chromatic Class, it will get a story share for me because you guys are beautiful. And I want it. And you guys be famous. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> bye.